Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to set up a Wi-Fi Direct connection between a Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian Jesse and an Android smartphone. The Raspberry Pi will act as the server, while the Android device will be the client. Our viewer has chosen to use WUPA Supplicant on the Raspberry Pi and the Wi-Fi Direct example app for Android. However, they're facing a challenge when trying to connect, as the Android app requests a PIN code, leading to confusion. Let's dive into the details and help clarify the situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To establish a Wi-Fi direct connection between your Raspberry Pi 3 and Android smartphone, we will start by configuring the Raspberry Pi using WPA Supplicant. Here is the configuration you need in your wpasupplicant.com file. Make sure to include these lines to set up your Raspberry Pi as a Wi-Fi Direct device. Next, execute the following commands in your Raspberry Pi terminal to start the WPA Supplicant service and create a peer-to-peer -peer group. Now, on your Android device, you should see the Raspberry Pi listed as a peer. However, if you encounter a connection failure, this may be due to the need for a PIN code. The reason you are being prompted for a PIN is that the Android Settings app uses a different connection method than the Wi-Fi Direct Example app. You can use the command P2P pin any on the Raspberry Pi to generate a pin for the connection. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set up a Wi-Fi direct connection between your Android device and Raspberry Pi 3, you can use the WPA LE command. First, use the command for PS push button configuration. Alternatively, if you prefer to use a pin, you can execute a different command with the specified PIN. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.